Hey guys, Ultra Steel here, and we are continuing the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we left off, we started our quest in Alsa Island, where our sister Ariel got kidnapped by this giant bird, which uh, mistook her for this girl right here, who is named Tetra. She's a pirate. So uh, we're going to go back to the fortress and try and rescue her, now that we got our shield and we're well prepared now. <clears throat> Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, though, let's go. Wait, this shield is now the wood? Is that what she was implying by the splinters? Oh, oh well. It must be a strong shield anyway. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go, guys. Finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! This part always made me kind of sad. Okay, screw that. It always made me sad. Not kind of sad. It is sad! I'll try and return. How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you should just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. Way to kill the moon, Tetra! There's still time, you know. Are you sure we should just turn around and take you back to your island? Mm, it's tempting. They do have pigs. I'm gonna miss my pigs. But no, my sister's more important. Just a little bit more important. <laughs> just kidding. Alright. So, uh... Right now, we're just on the ship doing nothing. Link! Listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you. So you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Alright, so we're out at sea on this pirate ship. Very nice. So there's the great sea. All these seagulls, too. So the pirates are just doing their thing, manning the ship. And up here is a nice clock tower. Well, not clock tower, but just a tower. <clears throat> clock tower? What could that possibly be a reference to? Don't listen to me. <clears throat> I'm just saying things. <laughs> Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin! Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed on here. In here. There's no way we're letting an insider... Outsider in! Oh my god, that's a weird typo. Or mistake by my part. Don't you even think it! So, for some reason we can't go in there. Wonder why. You're probably wondering why we treat young Miss Toucher with such much, so much respect. When she's clearly so much younger than us, aren't you now? Now, I won't go saying this in a very loud voice, but while she may look young, Miss Toucher is actually 35! No. <laughs> that's a joke, Shrippy! I suppose it was just chance that we lost our last miss when Miss Tetra was still young. Who fate is cruel she is, that's why Miss Tetra took over so young. She owes it to her predecessor. Everyone's come to respect her for that, for coping with so much at such an age. Respect has nothing to do with how many years you've been on the earth. But you're probably too young to understand that. Probably. So that really sucks what happened to Tetra's mother. Superior? Guardian? Guardian? Whatever? Ah. So here's Nico. <clears throat> oh! Well now. Hoi there, Swabby. As of today. <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful. Like, so you can crab into your your no doubt mushy swabby brain. 
Hmm. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt left on the control stick up to step on it. Presto. Switch pre Switch pressed. Sorry. Now check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Alright. Okay, so I was able to jump to this one. This first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use left up control stick to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform and then press A to let go and to jump to it. It's basically like the left control stick on the whatever control you're using. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms always stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. Ugh, is that so? It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a shuckle or two. Alright, so we have to go ahead and hop these platforms and make it over there to that room that Nico is in. So uh, in the GameCube version of this game, you couldn't really move around while you're on a... Uh, a rope like this, you have to hold uh, R, or ZR in this case, and position yourself in the right direction. You have to face the right direction. But in this version, you can just move while you're still swinging, so that's a really nice feature, I think. It really just makes this part more manageable and less time consuming. And we're already here. Ooh! Oh gosh, that was just terrifying. What? You did already? Hmm. I, I'm proud to have you as my, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby. I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Erg. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Alright. Tetra! He's giving away free treasure! No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so this is our uh, reward for doing that easy task. You got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. Yeah, there's gonna be some treasures that you'll collect from enemies, and there's another item that you can get to get those treasures from those enemies really effectively, and I highly recommend you do it once we reach that point, later in the Let's Play. So I can hold up to 8 items, just like the, um, bait bag. Hey Link! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress! Hurry up and get up here! So yeah, treasures in this game are pretty important. Uh, there's one particular that you really do need to get a lot of. And that would be... Well, I'll, sh I'll show you later, but... It's basically the joy pendant. It's like this butterfly necklace. You need at least 20 of those in this mandatory quest to proceed in the game. Which, don't worry, I'll cover that later. Come on. Hey, Link! Here I am, up here. As for uh, other side quests involving treasures, usually treasures will help you get uh, different items. You know, like hearts and stuff, heart pieces. I'll be getting into that later. <clears throat> what were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure. Were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Whoa. Pretty dark, man. There's that giant bird, too. 
there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that no long, or what I do know is that long ago I used to be the hideout of a no good group of pirates. We used we used to compete, but but they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look, over there by that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. Yeah, because Ariel was always near seagulls in the beginning of the game. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near a landing there. Hmm. What are we gonna do now? What do we do now? I know. how he acts surprised like he didn't even get to see how he got stuck in the barrel did he just teleport inside there look don't struggle if you really want to get into a dangerous place like that this is the only way to do it trust me we pirates do this all the time don't worry about it it'll be a piece of cake is everybody ready never you fear kid we're pros we're going to launch you good what anyone else says. That should have killed him. The collision would, would have been too strong. And unfortunately we lost our sword. And that drop probably would have killed him too because of how... Well, probably not the drop, but definitely the crash. So here's the Forsaken Fortress, guys. This is a, a very dangerous place. Oof. We're off to a great star. We don't have our sword. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. How is she talking to us? <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through the stone. And obviously, you can hear me through it. So if you see flashing A icon, you'd better press that button. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Use right on the item's screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it, you understand? Alright then. Down to brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with the searchlights. So they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. So yeah, uh, you want to take note of what she says because this place is under guard and they will capture you. Uh, I may get captured on purpose. Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get damage done to or anything, but you will have to start from a certain room in the fortress. But uh, I'm gonna get captured in, on purpose just to get to that room. So here we go. You want to use that barrel to sneak around and make sure you're not moving when the spotlights are on you, obviously. <clears throat> Those barrels are very important. You just press A to put them on you. And as you can see here, we're trapped in this cell room. But we can get out because if you notice, there's a hole right here. I don't know what kind of idiots designed this place. It's pretty rupee. as much as those as possible. Because I am one greedy guy. So, uh, what we're going to try and do is infiltrate this fortress. Try and find uh, our ways around it. All that good stuff. Alright. So, notice here that there is actually a chest. Press A to open it. We're going to see, we're going to be seeing a lot of these throughout the game. Always open them. You've got the dungeon map. You can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad and even see rooms you haven't been to yet. It's useful. So, like this for example, it shows you the interiors and everything. The 
floors and all that good stuff. Helps navigate. But uh, we're gonna go down there because this is the reason I got yeah. captured. Not just for the map, but for what's in here. Helps us get captured. Er, well, yeah, it definitely helps us get captured because I just got in here. But what I meant to say, it helps us get closer uh, and more quicker to this item, which is a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equal more life. Right now we have three uh, in our health on the top left side of the screen. But if we get uh, three more pieces, that means we'll get another heart completely. And that'll be very useful. And get out of here, you rat. So we're gonna try and sneak past these guys. These are mob ones. They're really good at uh, picking up where you are. So just, uh, when they start to take note of you, or take notice of you, just, uh, stop moving. I recommend you move very slowly. This part's actually pretty scary. Just because it's so suspenseful. So just wait. Yeah, you know, just sniff everything, you creep. And that necklace on his neck is actually a treasure. We can't get it right now, but those things are worth quite a bit. And there is a side quest we can do involving uh, those. Basically with the treasures, make sure you get at least 20 of each of them. Okay. Whoa! And this is another enemy. That was really scary. These are called Minoblins. They usually attack in groups, and it's no use trying to fight them off! Right here, and we just took half a heart, as opposed to one uh, heart, or one piece of heart. This is hero mode. Enemies do double damage, and hearts do not appear like they do in normal mode. So yeah, make sure you collect 20 of each treasure. Uh, I'll be going into that later. Because it is pretty important for some of the side quests you will be doing. But these are side quests. You'll have to, like, do them. They're optional. So we have some rubies. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to take out those people who are manning the lights. Because those are uh, getting us into trouble. And we need to take those out. So let's go ahead and sneak around, get these barrels. Sneak on by. Don't get into any trouble, Link. You've done that already. Okay, we can do this. Just gotta wait, just gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Okay, and... Where are we up? And... Okay, we're good. Just gotta play safe. So that's where that light is. Let's see if we can climb up there and stop whoever's manning it. Oh, we, uh, I just realized we don't really have our sword, so... How are we gonna do that? Oh, wait! Remember what Tetris said about the stone? Press A? Listen up, Link. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slide the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. That's right. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blow and see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What do you do? Alright, well, let's go ahead and see. So yeah, sometimes uh, you'll get uh, messages from Tetra when she wants to talk to you and the A icon on the button will start flashing green. That's when you press A to answer her and she'll tell you what she wants to tell you. So you'll have to deflect his uh, stick if you don't want to. There's usually uh, some sticks uh, in the jar nearby. And we can use those as a replacement for our sword for now. They're pretty weak, but they'll get the job done. So you can, uh, you can actually take your enemy's weapon, some enemies, and use it against them. It's pretty useful. You can also throw the weapon too, by pressing B. I'm gonna take a stick, just because it's cool. And uh, those vocal blends actually hold that item I was mentioning, which is called the Joy Pendant. So, uh... Trying to beat up some of those guys, and they'll definitely give you some uh, joy pendants. So that's uh, one searchlight we took out. That was uh, one of our main objectives. 
Now we have to go take out the other two searchlights. Otherwise, uh, we're not gonna get very far in the fortress. So the second uh, light is up here. Here we go. Bring it on, dude. Challenge you. Put on the face! <laughs> oh. What a doofus. Come here. Come here. Oh boy. Okay, back up here. Okay. So now we took out the second strobe light. And this is the joy pendant. This is what I was talking about. So you want to collect 20 of these at least. Uh, by the time later on in the let's play. Like, you don't need to like do it immediately. But just like make sure you have it in mind. Because uh, it is something that you will be needing. You'll need at least 20 of these later. So, yeah. These pendants are set to flock to those who spread joy. Like butterflies to nectar filled blossoms. Yeah. Alright, so I think we're going to call it uh, quits for this part. It's been quite a while. And we're going to go ahead and get that last strobe light and try and continue throughout the fortress. Check out that bird. So thank you guys for watching. This is Ultra Steel here. And I will see you guys in the next part of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Take care, peace, and have a good night. See ya.